All right, we out here getting my board set up for Seeking Shred Fest in about a month and a half. So I put the trail taxi back together because I'm going to be building another vest. So I'll have one specifically for out here hardcore trail riding. And then I'm going to have another one with a longer range battery set up for my classic adventure riding. But, so I'm trying out some different tunes now that you can just upload other people's other riders tunes. Uh, I've been dabbling in and then trying to make them my own because there are certain things I like about ATR that's specific for me. How I like to ride seems to be way different than other people. So dialing those things in, need to get it dialed. And then uh, also wanted to talk about remotes. So I guess I'll start by my opinion before I tried one. And I've always kind of been a, been a purist. Um, you know, I try, even when it comes to flight fins, I tried them, I hopped up a curb, and it was the grossest feeling on a one wheel I've had. You finally feel the weight of the board under your feet and that does not feel good, at least to me. I mean, I love watching people send it on it, but the feeling was just, I was like, nope, that feels gross. Not for me. And the remote was the same. I had those thoughts anyways, I hadn't tried it yet. I was like a purist. The beauty of the one wheel is that it's hands free. And also, I like to be in full control of my board. I like really mellow settings. That's why I love the Vesk. I can play with it. So I don't know, just love trying to dial that in, right? So I'm in control of the board. And then uh, I actually had a remote. I set it up in my Vesk and it sat on my shelf for eight months. Because I thought it was kind of a gimmick too. I was like, oh yeah, whatever. It's gonna feel weird. You pull back, it, it'll feel unnatural. It won't feel like I'm in control of the board to an extent, right? So it sat there. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll play with it if I wanna hit some stairs or something, keep that tail up, that'll be fun. And uh, eight months went by and I was like, ah, whatever, I should give it a good shot, a full weekend hitting the hardest trails, fastest trails I know. And my God, I didn't wanna like the remote. After two runs, it became second nature. I had even more control over my board. Didn't feel weird, wasn't fighting it at all. It just was like, I don't know, being able to preemptively bring the tail back or push forward going over shit that I would tail drag or have to slow down for. Now I can just hit at full speed, full control. Didn't even realize that you have something in your offhand. I mean, I'm carrying this camera all the freaking time. So having a remote just, I don't know, it's weightless. It's like, it's not even there. Your thumb's just going. Once you dial it in, you don't even realize your thumb's just going just like your legs are, just like your weight is when you're riding. I don't know, there's something about it. I really didn't want to like it. Honestly, I have the remote in my backpack right now, but I believe when you're dialing in a board, you shouldn't touch the remote because it can kind of smooth out bad tuning. So I like to get my board as dialed in as I can over the terrain. And then I use the remote to just accent it just a little bit. But uh, yeah, fuck, it was sweet. So those are my thoughts after I gave it a full week. Honestly, it took two rides and I was like, my God, I'm hitting shit fast. And even on the slow crawl, rock crawl, like roots and shit, pick your line. It was awesome. You're coming over rocks and you can't get speed to get your nose up and shit. And you just hike it back. Fucking, oh, just send her. <laughs> it was awesome. I don't know. That's my thoughts on the remotes. Like, I feel like you're not, if you're not riding with a remote and hooks, you're not riding to your full potential. And I'm not going to ride with hooks and that's okay. <laughs> I just don't like them, but I do understand it if you're a top tier racer as you'd want that shit for sure. But with hooks on, you can't really do tricks and flip your board around and whatnot. And I like doing that while I'm riding, while I'm shredding trails. So, but the remote doesn't get in the way, not at all. Uh, and that's my remote rant. I will always ride with a remote probably in the trails now. 
it's yeah i don't know blew my mind you got to try it can't mock it till you try it i was one of those people thought it was a gimmick thought it'd be fun to fart around on that's why i bought it and then already ordered a one for my next vest build it's almost mandatory at this point but uh yeah thanks for listening to my rant maybe i'll throw some clips in after this of the trails i was shredding with it of course i wasn't uh actually using the remote in the footage because i can't film and ride at the same time but uh unless i learned to go lefty but this hand's useless well, thanks for listening to my vesk remote rant give it a shot you'll be surprised and give it some time too for me it came really quick i don't know i'm a gamer too and i've been riding for a while but it was like second nature my god as someone who likes being in tune with my board and in full control you are now in full control <laughs> so i don't call it a cheat code there's a skill set required there for sure like if you go up when you need to go down on that remote you're going down hard but once you figure that shit out oh man it's magic it is magic never felt more in tune with my board all right thanks let's go